A group of about 70 middle and high school students from three states spent much of the morning crouched on the floor of a building at the University of California at San Diego last Thursday, trying to figure out how to get Roomba-like robots to make a sharp left turn. The students were part of the nationwide Reach for Tomorrow program, which partners with numerous foundations, corporations, universities, and other institutions to sponsor its summer program. The summer program is a week-long excursion that exposes teens and preteens to state-of-the-art technology and scientific innovation at no cost to the student. For the past 10 years, researchers from the Machine Perception Laboratory have participated in the summer program, leading students through a series of presentations and demos that draw connections between science, technology, and the real world. This year, the lab, which is based at the California Institute for Telecommunications and Information Technology, or CalIT2, taught the students how to program color-sensitive robots to navigate circuits around a maze. Vernita White, project coordinator for the University of Kansas Academic Programs for Excellence Gear Up program, was one of the chaperones for this year's RFT excursion to San Diego. We were offering the students the opportunity to come out here to San Diego for a week's camp, um, a STEM, uh, STEM-based program, I believe, um, for them to just gain more uh, awareness and hands-on experiences with the STEM fields. Um, they're working on some robotics um, things, just kind of putting things, opportunities in front of them that they wouldn't have normally in their uh, traditional high schools, um, giving them the hands-on experience that the schools do not offer for them, and then working with professionals that are experts in the field, which is always a great opportunity. The Reach for Tomorrow summer program at UCSD is sponsored by the Temporal Dynamics of Learning Center, which is funded by the National Science Foundation's Science of Learning Centers. The MP Lab began participating in the summer program curriculum about a decade ago at the invitation of UCSD professor Gary Cottrell. In addition to leading the students in the robot maze competition, scientists and engineers at the MP Lab shared with this year's students their research into computer vision and automatic facial expression recognition. They also demonstrated the famed Einstein robot's ability to read human facial expressions and even reciprocate. Marian Bartlett, an associate research professor at UCSD's Institute for Neural Computation and co-director of the MP Lab, says that she and colleagues spend a lot of time brainstorming each year about how to explain their research to the students in a way they will understand while still ensuring they learn something meaningful about the lab's larger scientific goals. Our lab is involved with this kind of outreach activity because we think it's important to give back to the community and also to bring new people into science. Uh, people who um, could find it very interesting, who could contribute a lot, who, but who might not have considered it. And this group is an important group to, to draw in. And so we felt that this was something that we could and should do, and we enjoy it. It's a challenge every year and uh, uh, rewarding, very rewarding. Diamond Gillespie, a student at the Idea Public Charter School in Washington, D.C., and a two-time RFT alum, says the summer program has taught her a lot about what it will take to succeed at her eventual career goal of becoming a pediatrician. The math and science is very, is very important if you want to become a pediatrician. And the different experiences they give us, the opportunities, it helps boost up your motivation and everything.